Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at the subreddit r slash I don't work here lady, so sit back relax and enjoy some reddit stories. I'm tall so I'm used to this. I've always been a pretty tall lady, 5 foot 10 in sneakers, so I'm used to having people all over flag me down to grab something that's high up, whether they think I work somewhere or not. It's not a big deal, and usually it's not even remotely memorable when it happens, but this particular instance makes me chuckle still. YW, young woman, and OL, older lady. I was roaming the grocery store to look for brownie mix, and swung through the bread aisle on my way there to grab some bagels. As I was trying to find the ones I like, I could hear a conversation between two women to my right, they were speaking Spanish, so I couldn't really tell what they were saying, but eventually, I heard something that sounded vaguely urging, and I caught a glimpse of the older woman of the two pointing at me. I can't help but look, and I notice the younger woman is in the store uniform. She comes over and very sheepishly asks if I'll grab something off the top shelf. She and this older woman couldn't have been even 5 feet tall, so getting up there would have required a ladder, or as it happens, a tall awkward white girl. No biggie, I stroll over, grab the thing, which turns out to be hot dog buns, and hand it over. The older lady says, thank you, in English, but the moment I smile and start to walk off, there's a rapid stream of Spanish, and the younger woman goes, Oh wait, she needs… So I come back over and older lady is pointing up at the rest of the hot dog buns. The younger woman says something like, how many do you need? The older lady says something I don't catch, but it's kinda long winded. The younger woman nods, um, she needs 9 more. Oh wow, is there a party? See, si, yes. Oh cool, lol. So I grab as many as I can standing normally, then go on tiptoes to grab a few more that she needs. She puts them all in her basket, tells me thank you again, then turns to the younger woman and says something. The younger woman looks a little awkward and replies at which old lady goes, oh, and says something else. I was confused. She thought you were a worker here and wants to apologize for bothering you. I am not wearing anything remotely like the store uniform. Well, it's no big deal, I don't mind. I turn to the older lady, I hope your party goes well. The younger woman translates everything. Thank you. So yeah, nothing terribly dramatic, just something that amused me. That's a lot of hot dog buns even for a party, 10 packets of probably like 6 or 8, that's a lot of people, and I kinda want a hot dog right now. <laughs> Looks like I work at Walmart now. It happened in the beginning of August back in 2017. It was the first week back to school and needed to start shopping for the usual supplies. I had my mother drive me, didn't drive yet, to Walmart in an area where she could just drop me off and take care of some errands she had to do. I had just gotten out of school, that's a uniformed school. The thing about my school's uniform, it looked practically identical to the Walmart uniform. Dark blue polo shirts and khaki pants that fit the bill. They do have two other colours, light blue and yellow, but I liked the dark blue better. As for the pants, we could either wear khaki or black coloured pants. On that day however, I had to wear the khaki cause my black pants were in the wash. Aside from the colours, the only way to see that I wasn't an employee there was if you looked at my shoes and my school logo, a yellow shield with an R on the left side of my chest. I walked around the school supply area and picked up a few items, notebooks, benders, pencil bag holder, etc. All being held in front of me from my stomach to chest, just barely covering my school logo. I went into another aisle to get my final items, sharpener or pens, can't remember, when I read a lady to call me. Excuse me miss. I look over to her. Could you show me where the pencil boxes are? My daughter wants one that locks with a key. 
Me, remembering that I passed through the aisle a few minutes ago, sure, I'd be happy to show you. I must have looked lost because I would double check aisles to be sure I found the right one. I'd almost get lost like that in stores like that as a kid. Once I found one I was confident in, I pointed it to the lady. They should be in here, but I can't be too sure about that. I smiled sheepishly. The lady smiled with a bit of concern. Alright, thank you very much. I returned back to my searching. I felt proud of myself for being able to help her out, even if I wasn't completely sure myself. Once I got my things, I made a double check in case I forgot anything else before leaving. As I walked the aisle again, I saw the same lady talking to an actual employee wearing the Walmart vest, an older woman OW. She noticed me and pointed me out. I was confessed and just watched giving a small wave, both in shock and fearing that I somehow did something wrong when helping her out. The old woman looked at me and started to laugh a bit, looking back to the lady. I did hear everything she said, but I heard her say, Oh no, she isn't one of the workers. The woman looked at her in shock and looked back to me. I saw her eyes moving to the spot on my shirt. I looked and it just so happened to show my school's logo. The woman laughed a bit herself and said sorry before returning to her shopping. It soon clicked in my head that she thought I was an employee and went to another to tell them how I looked lost, probably asking if I had gotten enough training before being put into work on the floor. I soon found myself chuckling and went on my way to check out stuff. Before I left to self-checkout, the older woman came up and grabbed my shoulder. You're hired, she smiled, still chuckling. Me, chuckling as well. Oh sweet, I'll start tomorrow. And with that, I bought my supplies and had a funny story to share with my mum when she came to get me. She had a good laugh herself when I told her and made a comment about how if only it was that easy to get work. I was really expecting that lady to be like a Karen, but that was unexpectedly very wholesome. What an adorable situation. Yesterday, I was taking my 11-month, recently walking baby for a random exploration in one of our big stores. The uniform is a red polo and I was wearing a red hoodie. We were just wandering aimlessly when my baby made a beeline for a man in the hair dye aisle. The man smiled and said hi to my baby, which caused my baby to do a U-turn and run away. They're very, very shy. I picked up my baby and was about to leave when the man called out for me to help. I thought, oh no, he just saw red and thinks I work here. It was much more adorable than that. He asked how old my kid was, which was a segue to, I have a two week old and my wife sent me here to find hair dye. She can't leave the house and I don't know what I'm doing, please help. He was holding an uncommon colour of dye, grey, so I was immediately suspicious that he hadn't got the right one, as the fun colours don't tend to be permanent. I asked him a bunch of questions to determine what his wife wanted, only to find out that she wanted permanent grey, which generally only hair salons do permanently. He told me that he hadn't even read the non-permanent label on the box. He ended up going for what he had originally, as it was the closest thing, but now able to go home and proudly tell his wife about why he chose this one and sound all knowledgeable. I still have warm fuzzies today. What is it with all these wholesome stories? Uh, can we get like all wholesome stories today or something? <laughs> I don't work for you, stop calling me. So I was in the service line at my local grocery store to get a money order because it is far cheaper than the bank. The line is very long so I take out my phone and browse reddit to pass the time. Suddenly I hear an excuse me from the man behind me. He nicely asks if he can use my phone to call his boss and that it was important. I obliged and he stepped out of line a bit but I could still kind of hear the conversation. It sounded like the person on the other line was furious, and the man could only get in yes and okay. 
It was a quick conversation and he gave me back my phone sheepishly and left the line. His boss must have been really upset to make him leave this line. It was extremely long and slow moving and we had been in it for about 20 minutes at this point and weren't even at the front. However, I thought nothing of it. That was my mistake. About a half hour later, I get a call from the number the man had called. It was a gruff sounding man on the other line asking me where I was, quite rudely may I add. I told him I don't work for him and hung up because I was driving. Mistake number two. Later, when I am at my job at the library, I keep getting calls from the number. I work tutoring students, so I ignored the calls, but they kept coming. Finally, I pick up, and our conversation went like this. Stop calling. I do not work for you. I am at the library working with students and can't keep bothering with my phone. <laughs> Why are you at the library? You need to pick up this for me now. I do not work for you. You won't if you keep it up with this behavior. I just hung up and blocked the number at that point. I couldn't deal with him anymore. I just hope I did the right thing. The man I let borrow my phone seemed like a nice guy and I don't want him to get into trouble. Sorry this ending wasn't too exciting. Edit, I did try to explain to the boss that I just let the man borrow my phone, but apparently that went in one ear and out the other. Sounds to me like that guy did not want to give his boss his personal phone number, so he was like, alright, I'm calling some random person in the line, can I use your phone please? Sometimes it's just weird. So, for a little background information, I'm a 16 year old female that just usually goes shopping with my mother. Absolutely nothing like an employee. I was wearing a t-shirt with a pusheen cat and regular jeans. About 15 minutes into the shopping, I was helping my mother get something up high. She is shorter than me. And then she goes to do something else in a different aisle. But I wanted to look at the aisle I was at. Then, all of a sudden, this old lady wanted me to take her cart somewhere. So, I just called this weird lady. Me, me, and WL weird lady. She was talking in some accent, and I don't know which one. Hello, would you kindly take my cart to the lines? She did extend the hello. Um, sure. So then I take her cart to the lines even though it was clearly on wheels and she can just push it. I then kept it in the line and she then asks me something very strange. Why not take it to the front of the line? You can do that for me, right? It would be a favor. Um, no, I can't do that. You have to wait in line like everyone else. Why not? Don't you own the store? At this point, I'm really surprised how she thinks I could run a goddamn store. Excuse me? I don't own this store, nor do I work here at all. I'm a customer. Oh, quit your nonsense. I saw you help that lady in the aisle. That was my mother though. Oh, it just hit her now. Sorry. Then she literally walks to a different line and keeps giving me a weird stare. At least it wasn't a stink eye. I go back to my mother and tell her about the weird lady. And she just says forget it and we leave with groceries. That was a very strange lady, I guess. <laughs> I guess because I'm in red, I work at the Red Circle store? So I'm a teacher and my go-to for the classroom is khaki pants with all sorts of pockets to hold things and whatever nice shirt I grab out of the closet that morning. So of course the day I need to go buy diapers, I'm in a red collared shirt. We get our diapers from the red circle store. <sighs> As I'm looking through the boxes of diapers for the sizes we need, I spot the last box for my youngest buried behind others. I start moving the boxes out the way so I can get to it when an entitled woman walks around the corner. 
Excuse me, could you please grab that pack from the top shelf for me? Uh, sure. Give me a second to get mine and put these back. But you work here. Stop what you're doing and get that pack for me. You can finish when I'm done. Yes, she actually said I'm done. Ma'am, I don't work here. I'm getting diapers for my kid. Then why are you in the Red Circle store uniform? Stop lying to me and get me my box. Fine, whatever. Having finished putting the boxes back, I grab the box from the top shelf. I also notice it's the size I need for my oldest and the last of the larger boxes of that brand. Oh, perfect. I didn't see these. Thank you. I take the box and start walking to the front. What? You can't do that. I need those diapers. My baby is coming this weekend. Weekend? This was a 50 plus box of diapers. Sorry, I need this size. And grabbed them first. I need to talk to your manager now. Sure. Her name is this at the local school. I'll let her know you're calling. I didn't hear the rest of the rambling. As I'm checking out with my now three boxes of diapers, she walks towards me with an actual employee. That's him. He stole the diapers right out of my hand. He needs to be fired. Ma'am, he doesn't work here. Then there was a shocked Pikachu face as I leave the store. I guess that was the perfect outcome then. You get an entitled person who points out the thing that you need. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.